Hey guys! So, welcome back to my channel. I know that it's been a really, really, really long time since I have posted a video online for you guys to look at. I've been really, really busy. I actually have started my own spa business. So I do spa treatments. My spa is mobile, so I go to my clients. And I also work out of the Metric Hair and Beauty Studio in the city, which is a really, really awesome hair studio. Um, it's basically like a full service um, salon. You can get your hair done, you can get a spa treatment, you can get your makeup done, get a makeover. And um, the owner, Elaine, she is so wonderful and so nice. And I am so fortunate to be able to work with them and offer my spa treatments to their clients and to other um, uh, other people that you know would come in to get a spa treatment done. I am also doing uh, makeovers, so I'm also doing freelance makeup um, together with my spa treatments. I'm working with a few bread and breakfasts, um, small hotels, and it's just a really, really great opportunity, and I'm really excited about it. So today, what I wanted to do was just do. Um, a welcome back video to everyone. I really want to start posting more regularly. I'm gonna try and post up at least two videos a week so I can get to talk to you guys more and just take you with me through this whole journey that I'm doing of building my spa business and building up my clientele. It's just a really really awesome opportunity and I hope that you guys will continue to check out my videos. Please press the subscribe button at the bottom. Please subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Facebook. You can like my Facebook page. You can follow me on Twitter. Everything's going to be down below. So please, please subscribe to my channel. I really, really appreciate uh, your support. And I thank you guys so much for checking out the video today. My makeup look is inspired by Carly by Belle. Um, she is just so awesome, so phenomenal. She is such a great makeup artist and I did well I recreated her fall one of her fall looks the really dramatic ones um, if you see if you can look at my eyes I'm wearing the gold on my lid and she did the a plum color in the crease I didn't have a plum so I did more of a dark purple and blended it in with a uh, light purple to get it a little close to the color that she used I'm I did a nude lip because the eyes are really uh, a bit dramatic and like she said when you have uh, dramatic eyes you really don't want to uh, well you really want to draw attention to either your eyes or your lips because it just makes you look uh, a lot more classy and flawless so that being said I want to do a review for you guys on a few products that I have started using um, for September and into October now so these products are really really great and I'm going to show you guys right now so the first one is my new foundation if you can see here it is by Kiss New York and it's cover care professional and the color is a neutral cool so I'm gonna open it up for you to show you this is my color and it took me a very long time to be able to find this color because I was using um, the foundation from Mark Cosmetics and I was actually using their tinted moisturizer because I really don't like wearing heavy foundations because I have really oily skin so I really have to watch what products I use so I went out on a search looking for a really good foundation that would not be powdery or not be too cakey when I put it on and I found this and this let me tell you this works really really well and it's really good for acne prone skin and oily skin because it helps to minimize the oil and it also helps to um, dry up the pimples or any any breakouts that you might have so it's a really really great product and like I said this color is in neutral cool it blends in really nicely with my skin complexion because um, the color that I was looking at first was a caramel, but it was a bit too... Actually, it was perfect, the store that I went to. I bought this at a beauty supply store on Flatbush Avenue, on Flatbush and Northern Avenue in Brooklyn. And the color, they had a car caramel or a soft caramel that was exactly, exactly my complexion. But it was a tester um, foundation. The 
they didn't have any more stocked up of that one so I had to search and search for this one and thankfully I found this one this one is really really great so if you want to try out a good foundation it is it's not a powder foundation it is um, a creamy foundation so when you put it on it's it's basically like a cream foundation and you would just blend it in with your brush your foundation brush and I just um, top it off with a light neutral powder the other thing that I want to show you guys that I'm happy about is my new concealer and it is from Jordana Cosmetics if you can see it here it's from Jordana Cosmetics I'm gonna swatch it for you guys and this is the color that I'm using because um, when you use a concealer you you do want to go two shades lighter than your skin complexion because if you go uh, if you use a really dark concealer then uh, when you put on your foundation your skin's gonna look really dark if you try to um, cover up certain areas it's gonna look darker than you want it to look so with a concealer you always go at least two shades lighter so that way when you put on your foundation um, any spots that you do have can be covered up properly and um, this works really really well I put it under my eyes I put it uh, I usually use it under my eyes um, on my chin area and on any spots that I do have because sometimes I do um, still break out uh, thankfully the skincare line from Beauty Control that I'm using is working really really great I am so thankful for Beauty Control skincare line I'm using the Skin Logics, which is for acne prone skin because sometimes my skin will be just fine and then next week uh, you, or, or you know like a week or two later I have two or three pimples on my face and it's like oh my god but um, being that I do spa treatments and I do facials for a living I know that it depends on your diet it depends on the type of skin that you have and you just really need to control once you know what type of skin you have like I have really oily skin and I do break out sometimes uh, during the months not always not all the time maybe once a week I might break out like you know one here one there so I just have to control the breakouts and I use the skin logics tonic which really helps to dry it out dry out the pimples and also I am drinking a lot of water um, which really does help if you have breakouts because it helps to clean you from the inside out so so far that's my foundation that's my concealer the other thing that I'm really happy about that I purchased last week is my new Kiss New York Envy Me. Um, it's a trio, so basically it is a blush, a bronzer, and a highlighter all in one. And I'll put it here so you can see. And it is awesome. Like it is really, really, really awesome. Um, I love the highlighter because I would have to. I I would always. Um, I guess I never had a separate highlighter from for myself personally. I would use just a really light eyeshadow color and um, you know highlight my nose and my chin and my forehead but I'm just so happy because now I have it all compact in one thing what's that honey? okay just get, take the phone to him sweetie I did just let him keep the phone so his mom can call back go on just take, tell him to hold on to the phone okay thank you and that was my son <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, just in case you didn't know, I do have two boys. I have a nine-year-old and a six-year-old. And they are the most adorable things. I love them so much. Okay, so back to the makeup. So it is a blush, a bronzer, and a highlighter all-in-one. And it's from Kiss New York. Oh, let me see the cover. It's Kiss New York Envy Me. And I paid $5.99 at the same um, beauty supply store on... Nostrand Avenue and Flatbush Avenue in Brooklyn and um, this is just a really good buy because like I said I use this to highlight like my nose area um, the highlighting and then I have the blush right there and I have the bronzer um, which just makes it so much easier when I'm getting my makeup done um, so that's my other product um, one more thing that I do have that I love that I've been using lately uh, is my MARC cosmetics eyeshadow compact it's it's actually an eyeshadow and a lip gloss compact so if you look at the front is this is the lip glosses there's nine colors and then if you lift this up it flips over and those are my eyeshadows and they are shimmery colors the 
black and the brown and the purple in the middle they are matte colors but the other six at the top they are shimmer they have a little shimmer to them and I just really really love this compact because I've been using the black to fill in my eyebrows um, not, not the, yeah, the black and the brown I've been using that to fill in my eyebrows because usually I would use an eyeliner pencil I would use the same eyeliner pencil that I use for my eyelid um, they already have a phone but just in case it loses it I gave it thank you sweetie okay go play outside mommy's working okay Okay, go sit outside for two minutes, let me finish the video, and then I will come outside with you. Yeah. Okay? Mommy, can I have some like an apple or something? Five minutes, okay? Five minutes You can get something. Let me finish my video, okay babe? I love you. Can I Do you want to say hi? Me? Say hi! Hi! <laughs> Give me a kiss. Can I keep you company? Okay, but you have to be nice and quiet. I just kissed your eyeballs. <laughs> Okay, go sit over there and you can keep me company. Oh, it's a marker in the That's a highlighter. You want to use it? Yeah. Uh, okay. Go get your papers so you can color. Bring, bring them at the table, okay, sweetie? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. My life. <laughs> but like I was saying, um, I, I'm using the eyeshadow, the black and brown eyeshadow to fill in my eyebrows. And if you can see... They're a lot thicker because with the eyeliner pencil that I used before, it would just, like I have really thin eyebrows because I've shaved them, I actually have purposely shaved my eyebrows this thin because when I was about 15 I got a scar on my right eyela um, eyelid, um, eyelid, eyebrows <laughs> and so I have like a... You got a scar on your eyebrow? I did, post it on my You still have it? Jamie. When I'm not finished, you can ask some questions, okay? okay. Let me finish real quick. So, <laughs> I have a scar on my right side, um, on my eyebrows, straight through, so it looks like I'm a criminal or something. <laughs> and I just really hated it. So, I would shave my eyebrows really, really thin, um, so you wouldn't see the scar. Which really sucks, because now I, you know, I want to change up my eyebrows every now and then. But, I don't want the scar to be there, so I've been using... Mark Cosmetics eyeshadow compact and using the dark brown and black to just fill in my eyebrows and it looks a lot better it's thicker and you know it looks a lot more natural because when you use an eyeliner pencil um, it can look a little uh, sharp and harsh the marks so it doesn't look that natural but when you fill it in when you fill your eyebrows in with an eyeshadow um, it looks a lot softer and a lot more natural and uh, you you have I would say a, well I have a lot more control over the way that I want my eyebrows to look when I use the eyeshadow instead of a pencil and those are the few products that I have purchased um, I'm gonna link everything down below so you can check them out I have the concealer the foundation the compact three, uh, trio with the bronzer blush and highlighter and also my Mark Cosmetics Compact eyeshadow compact, which is just really, really awesome. And before I go, I just wanted to give a big, big shout out to Kali Bell. She's such an inspirational person. Um, she's just doing really great things, and she's so inspiring to not only me but to so many other women and young girls. And I'm just so proud of her and the things that she's doing, and you know how far she's going. And on that note, I want you guys, if you will, to check out my blog post. I'm going to post the links down below. My blog is um, beautybydesi.com. And it's all about fashion, beauty, skincare, lifestyle tips, health and wellness. Um, just my thoughts on being or living a healthier, happier lifestyle that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, since I do spa treatments, uh, sh stress is such a big part of so many people's lives and I want to be able to help not only my clients but you guys and people that I meet just be stress free, be able to enjoy yourself, enjoy every minute that you have and relax because women you are special, you are beautiful and you work so hard not only for your family, for your careers but sometimes it just feels like you're juggling so much and sometimes we do forget to take time out for ourselves and that's why I'm in my blog site and that's why I'm making these videos because I just want you guys to 
love yourself and to understand that you are special and you are beautiful. And if you guys have any questions, any comments, anything that you would like to speak about, please comment below, write it below, send me an email, and I will be happy to, you know, talk about it, make a video about it, do a blog post, and share my tips and my advice on anything that I can help you with. Um, another thing that I wanted to say is this is just something that I posted on my blog, I would say last month, and I was doing a personal development series, and I just wanted to go over three steps, well that's six, three steps <laughs> that you guys can do to build up your self-esteem if you are having self-esteem issues because I remember when I was a teenager I had really really low self-esteem I was not happy with the way I looked I was not happy with the way um, I sounded I was not happy with anything about me because I had a really um, certain parts of my childhood was not that great and I didn't have my dad around my mom um, came to America when I was really young to you know work and help take care of us so I felt really lonely and really misunderstood and I had really really low self-esteem so now that I've grown up and developed my mind and my spirit and I am a strong individual and a strong woman I want to just share my tips on you with you guys um, if you have low self-esteem I want you to know that you are special and that you deserve the best in life and Three things that I want you to do tonight, tonight is I want you to sit down, get out a piece of paper, like this, well this one I wrote already, but a blank piece of paper, and I want you to write down three things that you love about yourself. Now, when I say three things, I mean three things, and it can be anything at all. It can be, I love my hair, I love my teeth, I love that I can sing, I love that I'm really artistic. Um, I love my smile, I love my eyes, I love my hair. There has to be at least three things. I want you to dig deep down inside and find three things that you love about yourself. But, um, I want you guys, like I said first, to write down three things that you love about yourself. The next thing that I want you to do is to take out a paper, another paper, like this, and I want you to write down what you want your life to be like in a year or two from now. And I mean, I want you to be specific. If you want to have a new career, if you want to have your own business, if you want to be done with school, if you want to be in school, um, whatever it might be, whatever you want to accomplish uh, in a year or two from now, I want you to write it down. Where do you see yourself? Not even where do you see yourself, but where would you like to be? in a year or two from now. And what this is going to do is give you a chance to really think about your life and where you would like to be and give you some direction because what I found um, before I started my business is that I was just, uh, I mean I was working a regular job and there was so much that I wanted to do but I didn't know how to go about doing it um, as far as starting my business and working for myself. And I had to really sit down and write down where, what type of um, business I wanted to start, um, what I wanted for my family. Um, I mean, be really specific. What kind of clothing would you like to be wearing in a year or two from now? What kind of um, circle of friends would you like to have? Um, what would you like to be driving? And I want you to think big dream. If money was not an issue, if your circumstances were not an issue, if you could do anything in the world and be really realistic with it, where would you like to be in a year or two from now? And what this is going to do is to help you really see what your goals are and what your dreams are and this will give you, I would say, a, a glance at what, where you are now and where you want to be in the future and you have something to work towards because what I found is that when you have something that you're working towards you get really motivated and you get really inspired to accomplish that goal to accomplish that dream and i want you guys to just dream dream big do not give up on yourself write these things down be really specific be really positive um it can be your physical appearance um where would you what type of um physical 
a parent, would you like to have in a year or two from now? Would you like to lose weight? Would you like to gain weight? Would you like to, um, you know, would you like to go on a, a, a really humongous, crazy vacation in a year from now? Whatever your goals are, whatever you want to accomplish, write it down. And the last thing that I want you to do is to make a vision board or an inspiration board. And I'm going to show you mine. So mine is up on the wall. And what a vision board is, if you don't know, it's basically getting a poster board. Um, let's see. Just say, for instance, that this is a blank piece of cardboard. Or post... Cardboard is a trick. Uh, what they say in America? Poster board. Poster board. Um, you know, you can get it at the craft store, you can get it at Staples, they have like the, the big ones. Um, so just pretend this is a poster board, what you would do is get magazines, catalogs, anything, pictures, and you would cut out the pictures, pictures of things that you want to have, if you, if you have a dream home, cut it out and you stick it on there, if you have a car, a, a dream car that you want to have, you cut it out, you stick it on there, um, if you want to lose weight, you can cut out your... A picture of someone that you would like to uh, well not that you want to look like because everyone is an in, you have your specific features and everyone is you know completely different but just say you have a weight loss goal you can put the picture of um, you know people working out fitness things like that and I want you to stick all the things that you want to accomplish and that you want to have the end product don't worry about how you're gonna get it or you know where it's gonna come from just I want you to make a collage of all the things that you would like to have in your life and stick it on the cardboard. Um, and I want you to also get um, words, cut out words from the magazines, like really positive words. I would say words like beautiful, I am beautiful, confident, success, um, anything inspiring or inspirational because what a vision board does or an inspiration board does, it just motivates you to pursue your goals and your dreams like you can I want you to put it somewhere um, that you're always going to see it I have mine right over my, my desk my office desk my workspace you can put it in your bedroom you, you can put it in the kitchen wherever you spend a lot of time or you know that you're going to pass by I want you to stick it up so that you can visually see it each and every day um, and this is just going to help motivate you to see this is what I want and you're going to just get that drive and that that fire to work towards getting it and it's a really good thing for you to do so I want you to do those three things and please um, leave me comments below leave me questions if you have any concerns I would love love for you to drop a comment for me and I would love to be able to talk to you about it and just help in any way that I can and if you have any suggestions for videos that you guys want me to do please leave me the suggestions below and subscribe to my channel because I really appreciate you guys and um, your, you know, your support and for following me in the things that I do. And I want you, um, I'm going to show you my vision board right now and I'm going to post up another video hopefully tomorrow or I want to try and do at least two or three videos a week which will be really crazy <laughs> but I, I, I really want to just stay in touch with you guys and talk to you guys and just be able to share my thoughts and everything. So I'm going to show you my vision board. And I think, yeah. So this is my vision board. I'm gonna step back a bit so you can see it. That's my desk. It's a mess because I've been like doing a whole bunch of stuff. But that's my vision board at the top. And I made it out of poster board. I covered it with, um, I covered it with the brown. Actually, it's um what do you call it not wallpaper but I bought it at the discount store it is the rolls of papers that you put in like draw liners and I just covered the entire thing and then I s put up pictures of things that inspire me not necessarily that I want to have but things my ins my vision board is is a bit different because it doesn't have pictures of the things that I want because I have a clear mental picture in my head of what I want in life but my vision board is it contains pictures of things that inspire me or um, ignite creativity in me and that's just anything to do with fashion beauty makeup cosmetics so um, this is my vision board and it's just a collection of just 
pretty beautiful things that I love and there you have it so what I want you guys to do is to go and I hope that you guys will you know take into consideration my tips 